There you are, Crystal. Well, I declare, look who's up and about. Eugene, my goodness. You do look so much better. Well, nothing wrong with an old Eugene that a touch of bourbon and brats won't cure him. <laughs> Afraid I'll have to pass. Doctor's order. Eugene not taking a drink? Next thing you know, he'll be out jogging. Uncle Eugene, all the maize made your favorite for dinner. Lamb, homemade mint jelly. Actually, I won't be joining you for dinner tonight. I'm having a quiet supper in my room. With Jessica, we have a great deal to discuss. But I did want to share with all of you one of the happiest moments of my life. Jessica has agreed to be my bride. Oh. Well. <laughs> Jessica, how wonderful. Oh, my head is in such a whirl, I hardly know what to say. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Oh, another wedding at Thorn Creek. How exciting. I know we're behaving like a couple of impetuous youngsters, but Eugene has managed to sweep away all my silly doubts and reservations. Now, the wedding is to take place in the near future. Don't want to give this Yankee enchantress time to change your mind. Tomorrow afternoon, right here in Thorn Creek, we've already filed the necessary papers. Uh, but Uncle Eugene, what about uh, Captain Thorn and all the charges? That's part of my strategy, son. Thorn hasn't filed any charges yet. And Jessica and I be leaving right after the ceremony for an extended holiday abroad. Which reminds me, I'd like to go over some legal matters with you in the morning. Do you think you could find a copy of my old will? Well, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that poor Jonathan left one somewhere. <laughs> I know that this is dreadfully short notice. And of course, it'll have to be a very informal wedding, but I want you all to be my bridesmaids. Oh, <laughs> Jessica, we have plans to make. You all enjoy dinner. 